everybody, Tori here with December Daily Day 15. Um, I'm on a mission to finish December Daily today. Um, I have a lot of days left to go, obviously, since I'm only on the 15th. But I think I've kind of decided that I'm going to go to Christmas and then just stop because nothing really happened after Christmas. Normally I like to go to the 31st because it's December Daily. But, you know, I'm just going to give myself some grace and be like... 25 days is enough. So I have 10 days to get through today. I don't think I'll post all those videos today just because the internet takes a long time to upload. But anywho, here I am, December 15th. So on the 15th, my mom, sister, and I went to see a musical. We went to see Annie, obviously, by the Playbill here. And one of our friends, Lily, she's a little girl here was in the play and um, it was just so exciting to get to see Lily in the play and Lily I've actually talked about her before on my channel she's one of my biggest fans I just really love Lily she's precious so Lily was in the play and we went to see her and she did a fantastic job it was incredible and I wanted to scrapbook that today in my December daily. So I have some photos, I have the playbill, and that's what I'm going to use to create my project today. So I'm actually going to stick you guys on fast forward like I usually do just to make it a little easier to get through this quickly. Um, I did pull out some cards that I thought might coordinate or match a little bit um, and my photos. I kind of have a plan, kind of not have a plan. Um, I was going to use page protectors but instead I think it might be cute to just use the playbill. Um, there's some pages in here that aren't actually related to Annie like the advertising pages and what I'm thinking is I could cover those up with paper and use those as the place to put my photos. So and do my journaling and stuff. So I'll make kind of like a little mini book for today's photos and thoughts. So that's kind of where I'm leaning. I did take my wood veneer number 15 and heat emboss it. Um, I knew that I wanted it to be on the front page and I just felt like the wood veneer was standing out too much. So I used white embossing powder, recollections, um, snow embossing powder, um, to emboss it so it would be white. I did a couple coats because I wanted it to be really covered and that's going to go on the front of this playbill and then I'll figure out how I'm going to attach this into my December Daily album afterwards I guess or while I'm going whatever I haven't really thought about it yet. So without further ado let's get into December Daily Day 15. So just one thing I want to say while I'm kind of getting started here, if you are wondering where December Daily 14 is, it is non-existent. <laughs> I filmed it and thought it was good and stopped the camera, uploaded it to my computer and realized that it filmed like the first 30 seconds and that is it. So there is no... <laughs> There is no process video. And um, I guess you'll just have to wait till I do an album walkthrough and show you what it looks like. So I decided to adhere that wood veneer 15 on the front. And then I also used the Mega Date stamp to stamp December 15, 2017. And, and then I, you could see there that I decided that the way I'm going to adhere this into my album is just with a little bit of red ribbon through a hole in the top. And it'll kind of be a little loose but I like that style. So what I'm doing now is I'm picking out which pattern papers I want to use um, in this little booklet that I'm making. And like I mentioned, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be covering up all of the non-Annie related things um, like the advertisements for other upcoming plays and things like that. And I don't know, I just really love the way that it works out. I kind of feel like this is like I'm channeling my inner junk journal, junk journal girl um, by making this little playbill into like a little book. I don't know. I love it. I think it's really fun. So when I was going through my journaling cards and papers, I found this four by six journaling card. 
cannot for the life of me remember where it came from, but it has three little snowmen on it. And it was just so cute. And it kind of made me think of like my mom, my sister and I, because the three of us had gone to the play and it was really cold. So we were all bundled up. And I just thought it would be cute to include those three little snowmen. And I'm pretty sure I've had that card in my stash for like a couple of years so I definitely wanted to try and use it and so when I was picking out my papers I was picking papers that I thought would look cute with those snowmen so that's kind of how I picked my color scheme for today sometimes I like to do that like I like to pick one card or one element that's going to be kind of my color scheme and then I go from there to pick the rest of the papers and things that I want to use so first off what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim down a few of the papers so that they are the right size for the playbill. Now the playbill was slightly bigger than six, um, six inches wide and slightly taller than eight inches high, I think. Yeah roughly. Um, so I ended up cutting the papers down to 6x8 because the, one of the papers I had was already 6x8. So I figured that way they'd all be the same. And now I'm just kind of picking out which pages and stuff I'm going to put my photos on and where I'm going to put things. Um, I have a couple of different photos here. I have um, a photo from the GPS there as we were driving to the theater. Um, I have a photo of my mom, sister, and I in the theater. I have a photo of my sister next to some really cool graffiti outside, and then I have a photo of my mom and sister outside of the Mexican restaurant that we went to after the play. So I want to kind of incorporate all of those. So I'm just kind of trying to figure out where I want each of those photos to go and how I want to lay them out. Um, it may be a little funny to include a photo of a phone with a GPS on it, but there's actually like a funny story um, that I wanted to include. We were driving along downtown Toronto and we were using this GPS to get to the Randolph Theater and my mom said to me like, Tori, watch the GPS and tell me when we're almost there. So I was like focused like really really hard on the GPS um, and I said something like we're almost there um, but just so you know there's going to be traffic just ahead and my sister says Court <laughs> my sister Courtney goes Tori look up and like literally the traffic was like right there so it was kind of funny that I had been like watch out for traffic it's going to be coming up soon when the traffic was right there um so it was just one of those things like sometimes you you have your head so like focused on what you're doing that you like don't look up to see what else is going on and I just wanted to include that story because I thought it was kind of funny and we were laughing like crazy so it needed to be included and then um I have a photo of us in the theater and obviously like I said we went to see Annie which is a musical. If you've never seen it, it's incredible. Um, and it was put on by the Randolph Theater, and our friend Lily um, was in the play. Um, yeah, she did such a good job. She um, was Duffy, like one of the orphans. And she actually had like some lines and stuff, so she did a really good job. Um, and I, I just thought she was so cute. And then I also have a photo of my sister outside of the theater near this graffiti which I have this like obsession with graffiti I don't know I just like really cool graffiti I think it's just so cool and I just want to take pictures of it whenever I see some and there were like these three ninjas like doing I'm a little teapot or something it was so funny so I took a photo of my sister by that graffiti and then afterwards we went to this really amazing Mexican restaurant um we were all so hungry because we had literally like gone right from work to the play and we didn't actually eat so then it was like eight or nine by the time we ate and we were all so hungry so the Mexican food was really good but it also was really good considering we were like super hungry okay so first thing I did was I adhered all of those papers down and now I'm just gonna use my scissors to trim off the excess from the playbill because I didn't actually want that excess paper to be kind of hanging off the sides um, so I just trimmed that down and actually I'm really happy with the way that this like playbill kind of turned out it's kind of fun to use memorabilia 
as the pages, if that makes sense. Because sometimes I think we end up just sticking memorabilia in pockets or envelopes or something and we don't actually like use it. And I don't know, I kind of like the idea of using the memorabilia in a fun way. Like it, I feel like it makes the spread more unique if, as you're flipping through then you kind of get to like see the playbill, but also interact with it because that's where the photos are and things like that. So I thought about covering the back page. I ended up not covering it. Um, I might go back and cover it later, but I, I doubt it. So let's start on the first page. So on the first page I had this really pretty pink patterned paper, which I believe I got from, I want to say Allie Edwards. I have that little snowman card and then I also had this branding strip from Felicity Jean that had like a scallop on it so I decided to kind of fussy cut out the scallop and it was the same color as that paper so I'm going to just use it by adhering it to the bottom um, to cover up some of the black that on the playbill that I hadn't covered. And then I wanted to include that 4x6 card, but um, it was slightly the wrong size, so I ended up fussy cutting out those snowmen, and I'm just going to glue them down, kind of adhering them on top of each other to make it fit. Like I said, the playbill was slightly thinner than 6 inches wide, so the 4x6 card was obviously too big, so it was good to cut it down. Um, and I don't, I really don't mind fussy cutting at all. So while I'm doing that, I just wanted to say that I have finished December Daily and I'm so excited about it. Honestly, all I need to do now is do these voiceovers, edit these videos and upload them, and then I can move on with my life. Um, I mean, honestly, I can move on earlier, but I want to get the videos up and posted, and I know some of you are still working on your December Daily, um, so I hope that you still find these videos super inspiring. Um, I would love to know in the comments, you guys can leave me a comment, and let me know, have you finished your December daily? Are you still working on it? Have you moved on? Um, I don't know. I'm just interested to know where other people are. I know there's some people who have finished and are moving on to other things. And then I know there are some people who are like gung-ho to finish still and are still working on theirs. And then there's some people who haven't finished but have moved on just because they're tired of it. So whatever the case is, let me know and leave me a comment in the comment box. So I had this one mint colored card that said Friday or FRI on it in gold foil and this was from a day in the life kit from Allie Edwards and I just thought it was such a pretty card and um, it kind of went so I did some journaling on there added a couple stickers and then I'm also going to use some tiny word stickers that say remember sunshine. Now, I think it's maybe like a little ironic that this page has snowflakes on it and snowmen and then the sticker says remember sunshine, but I was thinking about how in the um the the play that is just such a happy bright play and I think sunshine kind of goes with that, not necessarily like what's going on on the page. So whatever, I put it down, it made me happy. So I think go with what makes you happy and that is good enough. Um, I thought about adding some more stickers and then I ended up just adding these um, little like snowflakey asterisk stickers that, that match. So ended up using that. And then on the next page, I'm going to put that screen or that photo of the GPS. And I was trying to figure out how I was going to lay this out. I knew that I wanted to have the photo and then also a journaling card where I could add that story. Because honestly, like the story was hilarious and I want to remember what we were talking about and just the conversation. Um, so I was kind of playing around with that. Um, Meanwhile, also trying to think of what I wanted to do on the right hand side of this page because there was an ad down there that I kind of wanted to cover up. So what I ended up doing was grabbing some more of that yellow paper and laying it down so that it kind of lined up. Um, and that will just cover that little piece of advertising there. And then I can add the photo and a journaling card. So um, I was kind of debating whether or not I like that journaling card. So Typically, if I'm not sure what I want to do, I just move on to something else and then I'll come back to it. 
So on that little side, I decided to add a label and just these stickers that said joy. And that way I could just do a little bit of journaling um, on that label there. And um, that worked out well. So then I decided to use that one card with the stars to write the story. And that's just what I'm doing now. You can see I'm just adding the journaling. And I'm basically just writing it out as a conversation because I feel like I wanted to remember like the actual things we said. And you can see there that I grabbed this Spalala Snowman sticker that I thought was super cute. Um, I just thought I wanted to include him, so I was like, he's cute, I'm going to include him. And then I just went through the stickers and other embellishments and things and, and just kind of was having fun. I kind of felt like this spread was just an opportunity like to use and play with my stickers and um, to go with what made me happy. So that worked out well. On the next page, I'm going to include the photo of my mom, sister, and I sitting in the theater. Uh, we kind of had front row seats, which was really nice. And then there was this one journaling card that said, Cool Kid. And I just thought that that was, like, such a cool sentiment. Cool sentiment. Um, to put next to Lily's photo inside the playbill. And then I just grabbed a couple of gold and black puffy stickers to kind of spread around that spread. And then I also grabbed this word that said, Cheer. Um, just because I felt like that was a good sentiment for a page about Lily. Now this is the page where I'm going to add the photo of my sister with the I'm a little teapot ninjas. <laughs> and um, I had this one card that said joyful and I just felt that way when I looked at this photo when I remember that moment. And so I thought it was a good sentiment and I knew that I could add some journaling around that white space. So I kind of just journaled a little bit about how I cherish each and every moment with my little sister knowing... Um, that next year we won't be together for Christmas. So I just want to cherish like this because this is the first time she's been home for Christmas in four years. So I want to cherish this because next year she won't be home either. Um, if you are if you didn't know, my sister lives in Africa. So um, that's that page. And then I decided to work on the last page, which is a photo of my sister and mom outside of the Mexican restaurant. There was this one journaling card that said grateful for you and it was just super pretty and it came from Felicity Jane and I just wanted to kind of give that some space. So I ended up putting it on the left hand side all by itself um, with a gold paper clip that actually came on the card and didn't even take it off. And then I'm going to add my journaling just about going to the Mexican restaurant and add a sticker. And that's pretty much it for this spread. I'm going to show it to you guys in just a minute. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's quick process video and that you'll check back soon for another December Daily related video. And don't forget to leave a comment letting me know how you're doing with yours. Bye!